All right, you mutts, we're back at the six family. We're going to remove the condensate from the old boiler and we're going to tie it into the sanitary system. First, we're going to go to Home Depot and buy the wrong fittings and we're going to move this wash machine and tie it in above the TY that picks up the wash machine now. First, we got to remove one of the bricks so I can get the pipe through the wall into the other room and then run, run it under the panels so I don't have to run the condensate lines above the panels. There it is, she's through. Now we're gonna slide the long white pipe through. There she is, that's why your sister keeps calling me back. And once we got it propped up to that, we're gonna mark, mark, cut, and then we're gonna use the Sawzall. This is a Lennox. I got it from the uh, supply house, it's the one they had. And uh, we're gonna cut the two inch galvy vent out. In our state, you can stack two TYs on each other as long as the center to center is no more than 10 inches. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're going to use two MJ clamps to get this thing tied in. And if anybody says I got a crooked cut, that finger goes for you in the comment section. And we're going to flip the rubbers. Most don't like the rubbers. But we're going to dry fit the uh, two inch PVC off that so I can get the TY in the right position to tighten these MJ clamps on here. The bottom one is specific Galvi to PVC. The top one's a two band vent clamp. Uh, what else we doing? We're gluing and priming. Believe it or not, I still, I honestly can't believe that grown men are in my comment section asking me if I'm using primer or not. It's like, dude, you really should get laid. Sounds like it's been a couple of months and now's the time to pick up the phone and even if you gotta pay for it. Sometimes you gotta pay for it. If you're married, you're paying for it on a daily basis. You know what I mean? Uh, what else we doing here? We're gonna set a two inch trap. Some of you are gonna say that's longer than six feet from the vent. And like your wife tells you, it looks longer on camera. It's under six feet by a couple of inches. So two inch trap. And then I'm gonna put a two by three inch reducing coupling on the riser so I can create a three inch cup standpipe, as you will, to run the condensate lines over and down and not have to worry about them falling out. I know some of you in the comments section have that problem that she won't even know if it's in or if it fell out. But I don't even know what I'm talking about at the moment. There we are. She's all said and done. We got her tied into the sanitary system and uh, the brick walls to hang her over there. Just if anybody's curious. And now what are we going to do, Nemo? What are we going to do? There it is. We're going to rip these lines right out of this sucker and then start rerouting these in the ceiling and down to the new standpipe. But unfortunately, only two of them are going to reach the standpipe and the other two across the room are too low because they're for the basement. And also, what, what is he also? Oh, yeah. It's really hard to connect two of those. I can't help myself. Every time I do that, I got to slow mow it. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's a guy thing. We're going to drain the boiler, hopefully for one last time. And there's the condensates that worked. And now we're going to get her emptied we're gonna put the wash machine back because we're done with that situation and i had to buy a pump that's a condensate pump i put it across the room on the floor i pulled the tube from the new trap to the pump and then i'm gonna do a inch and a half by three quarter coupling into the pump two inch and a half standpipes so that way the hoses fit in there right across the room and down and now that's it it's done 